John Monaro here. Today it's uh, Wednesday, the 23rd of November 2016. We've some good news to tell um, in a week or two. I'm just going to call him. And let him know. I'm getting excited all the time. Jim, you can hear me? Your phone is whistling. Um, I've got some good news. I just got a letter from the Mary Lane Court that um, um, I, I'm, I'm the only trustee in that block, so they're going ahead to have that meeting at the Mary Lane Court to change the old tra uh, trustees over to me. So that's the good news, if you can hear. Um, and so we go down on the 30th, I'll come down um, with Jamie, he's going to come with me on the car to Apotiki, and then we can go down on one car, uh, down to Rotoria, 11.30 on the 30th, Wednesday that is, so keep that aside. I'm going to set up a meeting with uh, Iru Painga, uh, possibly at the Marae, um, we might, we might, we, we, I think we need to talk with him and um, uh, over what we're doing there to, uh, on, on the overall scale and from there to, uh, uh, with you to uh, Waitangi and to hook it all up together, eh? Uh, so we'll, 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 we'll meet there and uh, it certainly looks like the Married Land Court have made their minds up that I get the block anyway. It, it, it may have helped from Nick if he's got an touch with Tatumutumu, but at the end of the day, the Maryland Court made the decision uh, for the land to change trustees to me, and then Tumutumu will have their plan uh, on that basis, okay? It was up to the Maryland Court to make the decision. So that's all good for us. I think you can hear on your phone, but um, um, I can't hear you, all right? I'll try again a little later. But that's the latest, um, mate. Uh, so, um, uh, I'll put that thing on uh, the letter from the Mary Land Court uh, and send it through to you, okay? And just to make sure that you know that we, we I'm, I'm, I'm in that block, so I, I've got to tie it up. Okay, bye. Oh, there you are. Oh, there you are. Did you hear what I said? Okay, so we looks like we've secured the the the. Uh, I'm the only trustee uh, from the last meeting in June, so I think they took it on 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 what we've presented. I hope, uh, but um, uh, in any case, the Mary Lane Court was the one to make the decision. But we're going down for, eh? Hey? For what? Any, yeah, that's it. That's all right. We, we can. Well, you, you. I got, a, I got, a, I got an expert, an expert, a South African, uh, Martin Gardner here. Yeah. So, so anything like that, we, we can, we can, we can put that together, as long as there's some. Okay, that'll do. That, that'll do because they can live there, and yeah. and you can keep an eye on them, uh, and and so um, uh, I think. Um, um, Thing might have got in touch as well. Um, um, te, Poro, te Poroho might have got in touch with te, te, so that's okay as well because we got we got the three blocks there anyway. The other ones are due. Oh, good, good, yeah. So that might have made a difference, I think, uh, with them. So so as long as we are on that land block, we can be there at Christmas time um, between yeah, and, and we can. We can sit there and go for it, and 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 get our heads together, because there's three blocks there uh, uh, to to do things with. But um, we can we can talk about that, and, and that'll get us going. 
Um, I, I, I ran Tamati Reed, he's at Rangituki on the uh, Haho blocks. So he'll come over too with Joy, and I think I'll, 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 I'll bring thing tomorrow, Edu Painga, to, to have a meeting at his marae. And, yeah. and we'll just scoot over there and, and maybe stay overnight. Okay. Eh? You might stay overnight and, and, and have a discussion with him. Okay? Okay, okay, leave it to me, I'll do it. Okay. Oh, right, right. There. That's it. That's it. I just put that together. I just got the letter from the Mary Lankhort today when I went to the gym. I checked my mail and lo and behold, I get the letter from Teacher Mutimu. There. I just got it in the mail today. And that's for the plans. It looks like it's gone through. And Mary Lankhort here. I did a look. And I'm going to invite to a Christmas party with the Heart Foundation as well. So that's good. That makes me feel pretty, pretty good. That's the helicopter at the back there. Look, the drone. Drone. He's ready for fish. The drone. He's sitting over there. Ready to go, Jamie. Uh, right. It says here. See, here's the letter. Look. You can read. That's what it says. just show you that there's a Marilyn Court has made a while I put in for the trustee of the doing a tall block and it looks like we've got it and the Marilyn Court's going to transfer the trustees over to me and it reads getting a 12 review of trust and replace Betty Collier with Hawani Kaki Wano as an advisory trustee. Sections 231 and 239, Tituri Marry Act 1993. The above application has been set down for hearing in Waro. Details are as follows. Venue, Ministry of Justice, Court Hearing Centre, Hekiera Road, Rotoria. Wednesday, 30th of November 2016, 11.40 a.m. Please arrive 15 minutes before the allocation time and present to the court assistant. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me on 06869-0386 or via email at paulineclark at justice.gov.nz. Pauline Clark for Registrar. Good. Thank you. Thank you for that. 11th of November. 2016. What's the date today? It's the 22. So they had this all ready for me, but they were waiting for the Tumutumu Pai Roa, which is here. This one came in the mail too. It took a long time for the mail to get to me. What happened there? What's the date on the letter? Oh, no date. No stamp date. But because the mail over here is terrible, it doesn't really come at the appropriate time. Um, so this is the letter from Timutimu Pairo, meeting of owners. Oh, this is, this is for the, oh, this is for Arataha A2A, trustee. Um, this is for Arataha A1 in Titi. Oh, that's another block. That's not for that one. Minutes of the meeting of the owners for Arataha A1 block held on 30th of July 2016. Well, I apologize, Tena Air John. I apologize for the delay in sending these and hope that you will understand the need for Titumu Pairoa to operate within its limited resources. Who sent this? I can't read that. Who sent it? So that's the letter for the other blocks that I'm on, and I think that was too big a problem, that one, it's just too much erosion, and I'm, I'm putting the building for all that erosion to uh, the um, uh, 
John Key and the bell I'm going to give him. I'm going to discuss with you in a minute what my thoughts are on all of that. But there, there we are. That's, I'll scan it and send it to um, Tamaki Reed at Rangitukia on the blocks, land blocks there. The ha ha blocks. And um, I'll meet with him and um, Jim. We got to uh, and in Kainga on the Tehoro Marae at Port Awanui. Um, so I'll, he'll look forward to that. And he's had enough of the government as well uh, with what they're doing with his land blocks being crossed up and left them out. I know all about it. And I'll stretch it up with Jim. And I got a cardiac rehabilitation Christmas afternoon tea. You see? I've got an invite because my heart, I like to go there and speak and, and how I fix myself a bit with their help. Um, what a year it has been. We would like to invite you to a Christmas afternoon tea to get together, see our friends and share some Christmas cheer. Where? Mount Albert Community Centre, Garlic Room. When? Monday 12th of December at 2.30 to 3.30pm. Oh, that's good. 12th of December. If you would like to, please bring a small bread plate size plate to share. We hope you can make it and look forward to seeing you there. Wendy Marshall, um, Kathy, Kathy Gasparani, I know Kathy, and Wendy. Uh, so those are the people that helped me up when I got bundled off into hospital in the ambulance. And I went through the heart rehabilitation and the gym there before... I got my muscles at this gym over here in Odahu and self-inflicted muscles here. See? See them? They're not little anymore. They're starting to grow. And my trusty... Right? Trusty hooker, goggle. So I did a lap underwater, one link, straight underwater the other side today. So the lungs are getting good and gooder. So, so that's that side. Now, I want to tell you about this. What I saw today on Facebook, Facebook uh, 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 social media is very good. It's better than the news because you're getting it on a mobile direct. You're getting it straight on someone's mobile, straight online. Right? The action where things happen goes straight on the line. And so this is what happened. This is what's going to, this is what's happening. The Queen, the Queen has invited Trump to Buckingham Palace last week, okay? So that's been simmering for the last four or five days. And all of a sudden, Trump changes his plans to go to Buckingham Palace. That was supposed to be in June. That's around about the Queen's birthday, June of 2017. Listen here, listen here, you people. And Matt Taylor, you follow us in England? Listen up. And those ones in America, and New Zealand, and Australia, and Canada, and Africa, and India. Listen. This is what Trump's up to. Although he's a good guy, and being very popular, he has suddenly been thrown in the limelight in Britain. Now, this is what happened this week, the last day today, when the warships, the Navy warships, go back. The USS Samson goes back to its duties, I think in Massachusetts, America. That's the Navy ship that came here to this 75-year celebration of Navy, New Zealand Navy. Okay? And don't forget, they didn't invite the British... Navy ship here. You wonder why? I can tell you. The British Navy ship is King William, the fourth Admiralty jurisdiction over all the ships in the world of commerce. King of the Sea. Title. Okay? So this is what the Queen and the U U U EU Parliament, where she's sitting, said. 
to try. Come to Buckingham Palace to make people think he's going to Buckingham Palace. And all of a sudden, Trump says, no, he's going to the Philippines. Right? He's going to the, Philipp uh, to the Philippines. And that's where this crown jewels are, the, the gold, the gold, okay? The gold is hidden in the Philippines. And they're saying that Trump is going there first. You wonder why he's going there instead of to Britain first, right? It's because the bulk of the gold is in the Philippines, hidden. And that gold, all of the rest is in Switzerland, of a million tons of gold. I just put it on today. I've been following that case with Karen Hudes, the lawyer for the World Bank. She got booted out because she was blowing the whistle on the World Bank. But I think it was a setup. And she tried to tell me that I had no claim to her, to that goal when this flag is the claim to shipping all that gold under King William IV and his niece, Queen Victoria, in the Queen Victoria Trust, which is ours, 1848, that trust was put together for us, the native indigenous chiefs. Okay? So that's our business with this flag of Admiralty that shipped all that gold whoever went to in the world. And from New York, that's what King William IV put together before he became king. He was in the Navy for 50 years to set this commerce all up, right? From New York and the Stock Exchange. He set that up. He was stationed there in the Navy to set this up to Westminster. Now, that's our business with this flag and him and our right to the goal. Okay? So, 400 tons, Karen Hudes was saying, is in the Philippines, plus some more. The other goal was in New York. Right? I'm just saying that that's King William's Admiralty that shipped all the stuff around under British law from 1830 to 1837. That period is locked in a contract with us. No one can change that. That's private contract in this bank is our business. And that goal is our trust. Okay? So I'm saying with me and Jamie, Anna Marie Patrick Stewart, well her surname is Patrick. Her father's Stewart and her mum's Patrick. Okay, so she's Patrick, the eight point star here. Okay. part of that fortune of gold. Okay. This adds up to this flag, adds up to that pot of gold. That's the King's Bench Court in Waitangi, Marae, here. The Queen's business has been in that court for all these years, right back to 1952 when she was first came Queen. 1952, then back further from that is Queen Victoria and the Victor Queen Victoria Trust. That's Kingi Tauru's business. Right, Kingi? You watching this video? That's your business, mate. And I've got it right on record. Okay? You're going to Westminster with us, with the two judges, native judges, Manahi Tingairi and Bunny Wawatai. Now, Bunny Wawatai and his Wawatai family is on this heading up a 12 block. Okay? So, I'm the trustee on that block with this letter here. But that's alright because the Wawatais are with us. That's our family. Okay? That one. Right? You're watching this, Bunny? The Wawatais are in that heading up a 12 block. Just this one. Just this one. Anyway, I'm going in there to set this whole business up. From there, don't worry about anything. It's me, it'll be safe with the king and the eight point star in the Tomata in Waitangi, straight to Westminster. All right? Straight class from key, straight to Westminster. Okay? That's what I'm, I'm just saying that, that we're following the system 
we following the system till the British take over. Okay? The British will take over to recover all the debt. Now, Trump, we'll get back onto Trump. I want to explain this so you know in this video. After me talking to uh, Jim Wikotu, now he's happy. He's happy because at his age, he's expected of a lot to put the history right back onto Maui, not Maori, Maui, at Te Pito and the Haha -ha blocks. Okay, he's in the high Haha -ha blocks and we're setting up the native court in Te Horo Marae with Eru Painga. Okay, we're going to see Eru Painga, I'm going to ring him tonight and arrange to meet him with Jamie, myself. We're, we're, we're in this here, that's Jamie, okay, and that's King William, and this is me, and this is King Ernest Augustus here, on this land, to take over the inheritance, and we are going to petition him into the Westminster Parliament, from the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court, Native Court, with the Taumata and the Whakamenea. We're connecting up Irupanga and his Te Horo Marae at that British village and Spanish village, there on those blocks, the Hiranga blocks, with connecting his Marae, because that's the one I get on with. Okay, I get on with him as much as I, I haven't got on with my own Marangaro Marae, which has changed its name to Awatere Marae. I, I haven't got on with them, but only Chick Karaka and all the rest of I haven't got on with because they've gone the opposite way. and. Uh, although our, our, our chick got us the consent to the Maori trustee's office for the Equifans at Marangaro C, C12 block, so that's okay with, with him. With him, I got him in all the time in the world for him because he's sitting on that land block of ours with the Urupa at the top, Mokonui to Rafanui. Okay, he's sitting on that land block with the house there, guarding that Urupa of ours, the Wano and the Karakas and all the rest of them, in there, Campbell, in that, in that block, in that Kurupa, the highest one around the whole Otikiru Aki Waiapu area of Uata Tupuna, chief. He's the chief of the Otikiru area from Cape Runaway, Potaka, back through the back, the Rokumara Range, to Whakangiangi, in the back of Poroporo, Tiki Tiki, Rangitukia, Eastgate, Poroera, Tiararoa, Punaruku, Hicks Bay, Matakawa, Midway, and Kebra. Back to um, Kupupunamu, Kupupunamu, Rokumara Range, Rokumara Range, at the back of Akarina, straight back to Poroporo, and Maraiha, Maraha, Maraha. On Poroporo with Ted Wano and Doris Peachy Wano is now that heading A12 block in the, in the next door to the the heading A12 block is a heading A11 block is is Leslie Peachy okay that family the Peachys and um, what's his name um, Richard Fisher I get on really well with them both okay they're on our side we're on their side. And we're going to work together with Jim and uh, Te Poroho Ruka. Uh, he's with us and his Japanese wife to come there with us on the block and put the bands together, put our brains together and make it work. Okay, we're going along with Te Putumutumu Paido and the Maritime Court as far as we can go with them to make their records right with ours. So I'm just saying with Donald Trump. Donald Trump is going to the Philippines. He's going there because the goal has gone there and the Spanish part of the um, inheritance um, that that's on um, the Queen side has shifted that 
into the Philippines and hidden it there. Right? It's hidden it there. There's much more to it, but I won't, I'll say it in another video. I'm saying he's going there to try and steal it, like what Karen Hudes was trying to do. I told Karen Hudes, don't go near. It's none of your business. It's this flag and us. The native. The native. It's a native contract. And she said, "No, you got no claim to it. It's the world court to the human, human, for the people, the human race." I said, "No, no, no. It doesn't do the human race. It's our business. What, where, where it went? Missing. It's missing. Of our Queen Victoria Trust. It's missing. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it with the British military, because when I turn up with these chiefs from here, we have the overriding title to all that inheritance." that the Queen corrupted and defrauded us, the beneficiaries of that trust. I'm going there to shut them down and her and seize it, just the same way as we're doing here with John Key. We're seizing all the assets with the pound note. You see the pound note on, on my side? Those are real with Jamie and my head on it. It's there because that's the way the record stands. And the two Tupunas have left all this with us to do. Okay? Napui now can see they play a part, an important part, with the contract to England. Right? It's none of anybody's business. This is private. Admiralty is private mortgage lien. We're not going to mortgage lien you, John Key. We're levy, levy debt on you. With the power note, that means you've got to pay straight up. Right? You're going to pay, we're going to force you under the King William the Fourth, 1830-1837 Acts of Westminster Parliament, uh, under the financial martial law. That means force you to pay. That's what's going to happen here with the chiefs. I'm going to make this ruling quite clear and put it straight into the court up there for our hearing with you. You've dodged it before with Sue Nicola in Titimarai. You dodged it and. So Adnan sat and dodged it because I had the documents there to sack him through the Confederation. That was the Confederation and not the Whakamininga. The Whakamininga is in the Watani Marae, King's Bench Court, and the Confederation of Chiefs and Incorporations under Te Tūru Whenua 1993 Act is in the Titi Marae. You can't mix them up. The one, the, the, the law inside the Waitangi Marae is the British law, 1830-1837, King William IV and its flag. Ex of Westminster Parliament with hanging rope. Hanging rope for any pirates that we say. If I say someone going to hang, they're going to hang. Okay? With that law. That's why you took it out, John Key. Your government took out all the laws so you can get away with it. See? But it's our prerogative prevails. Our law prevails with the British military inside this flag and with the Westminster government, the brand new one that's going to boot out the rats and drain the swamp in there while Trump drains the swamp in America. That's what he's doing at the moment. Okay? So Trump, to you, you're going to the Philippines, what for? I already know what you're going there for. I've got you all on the record, from the day the Queen signed the Lisbon Treaty with Gordon Brown, Scottish SNP party. Okay? He's the one that did the damage. He's the one that did the damage. You, um, Gordon Brown, and you set up that EU Parliament with the Queen. Now, she's in there. She's a conflict of interest in Westminster. And we're booting her out because we have the right to go straight and default her. And you, Trump, if you tamper with that gold that's missing, there's a million tons of gold missing. That's part of the 970 million trillion trillion pound note that I'm sticking to you, John Key. And your part in it is approximately a thousand trillion for New Zealand. Approximately. It can be more than that. Now, that's to make up for all your funny money, all your spinning at 2,000% on the money right through those years, right back. Right, we're taking it back right back to 1830. 
when King William became King, King, King William, Henry became King William IV. Okay, and so we're going to build you. You're going to get the bill from me, the sheriff, and the land native, the King William IV, Moai Crown Native Land Commissioner of these lands and the Pacific Islands as well. Okay, we're in the Pacific Islands. The Pacific Islands is seven points on this grade. One of them each the islands in the Pacific and one for King Ennis Augustus now and that pot of gold that's missing. We're going after it with him and us his partner. Okay, we're the partners of King Ernest Augustus living King default contract. The default contract. The Queen's got a default contract to King Ernest Augustus and us his legal partner. Okay, so you got that? Have you got that clear on this video? On the record. But you know, just going on the record. All these things should have been documented, but I have to make it like this because I got nobody to write for me and keep track of everything. It's all over the place, but it's there. It's online. You can pick it up anywhere and I'll add it all up when it comes to that. So to uh, um, uh, Tamati Ree, um, that's our Komatua in Rangituki, and um, to uh, Iri Painga in uh, Port Awanui, uh, uh, Te Horo Marae. Uh, we have a meeting with Jim from Matatua and with um, uh, Port Ahau. If he comes down, I think he will come down and we'll, we're going to share the block. We're going to share the block. And we've got two more blocks there. The heading at age 8 and the heading at age 10. I want the heading at age 10 for the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited Company in London and for the Moai Powerhouse Tidal Turbines and Deep Sea Fisheries and Aquafarms. Okay, that's where it's going to start there. And it'll extend to uh, the Marangaro Sea Club block. That's going to get washed out with the next tsunami is going to clean that all out. I want to try and uh, hit the tsunami off. The big 10.8 is going to hit. That's why these warships were here. And they're sitting, the seismic ship was sitting right on that fault line and marking it out. Well, we're going to boot them right out of there. The British are liable and their responsibility to boot them out and the Queen off the place with their private interest. John T, you are on notice with this video. Okay, from me and the Tomata and the Whakaminia up north. Okay, they see what I'm saying now. It's up to what their authority is. It's their authority. And I'm here as their uh, surrogate king, William IV, and native uh, land commissioner. So Jim Rikotu is a native land assessor, and so is, that's a judge, okay, that's a judge. And so is um, Manahi uh, Tingaidi, he's from the uh, Rangitukia blocks as well, and also Bunny Wawatai, he's on those blocks at home to the Wawatai family and Ngapu, okay, up north. Okay, so we've got at least the Tomata to sort out on the 3rd of uh, December 2016, I'll film Hui on the 30th of the e we're going up there, and they will select the um, jury. The jury is the Tomata. We'll have six to go to Westminster, and ten all together here, in the Waitangi Marae King's Bridge Native Court on 6th of February. This will be sitting there waiting for John Key and the Navy. You'll have to answer and bring your title, John Key. I'm putting on notice to bring your title. If you haven't got the Navy, bring your title. If you haven't got them, you're in trouble. Because I'm taking those titles. The Manaka title, the Maui title, and the Ututonga title into that court. And the Wanwa Maui title. Okay? The Maui standing in London, New York, Washington, 
Haiti, Brussels, France, New Zealand, South Island, Dunedin, Auckland, and uh, uh, Chile, and Singapore. Those are my title to my Wānoa Māwā family on East Island, Rapa Nui to Mokonui. Marangaro land blocks, Marangaro Mara. Okay, you get it? You get it? You got it? On the record. Put it on the record. Matt Taylor in England. Uh, this one's for Matt Taylor. Matt Taylor and Jackie and Andy. Little Gordon. Those are my friends in Scotland. They are executive. To use, what I'm saying here is this. Trump going to the Philippines to try and steal the gold from our trust. I'm going to head that off. I'm going to head that off. Before they can get it, it's going to the High Court of Admiralty in London with the Taumata and the Whakameninga and the Native Court, Jury and Judges and me, the Sheriff, Native Land Commissioner and Jamie, the Eight Point Star, St. Patrick family and me, the Maui. We're going into court to challenge that gold that's missing out of our Queen Victoria, Queen Victoria, King William IV Trust under this Admiralty flag of jurisdiction. That belongs to us. The whole lot is going back into Westminster and the military, British military and Navy has to recover it with this order I'm putting together. I'm fashioning it so that we seize the whole lot and disband all those trusts. Okay? The King and Queen of Spain took it out and instead of telling us what they're doing with it, they put the Philippines' son in, their son, and they took it out. And the King and Queen of Spain, you are liable in this trust, the Queen Victoria Trust, to us, the beneficiaries of that trust. Okay, you're liable. We're going to audit those books where that gold went and what you did with it, because it belongs to us in Westminster. The Queen is on notice. The 970 million trillion trillion pound note, Matt Taylor, is real. That one I've got, you see, with the green on it, green pound note, that's its value of what's missing, the gold and everything spun over in this uh, fiat money and all the resources that are stolen from the indigenous people of the world comes out of that belt. Okay, everybody in the world that joins my way and King William IV and King Ernest Augustus back into Westminster and the eight point star of the St. Patrick's Church Order in Dublin, Ireland, and King William III comes back into Westminster and I'm going into Westminster with Jamie and take that position off the Queen and the head trustee. Okay, I'm the head trustee of this Piringa 84 block and I'll be the head trustee of that Queen Victoria Trust until King Ernest Augustus goes into Westminster. Buckingham Palace and takes over his role as the monarch, true monarch king of Britain, UK, and the new world order here, taken off the Pope and put back on Westminster under his rule. Okay? Okay, you got it? You got that? Yeah. That's what I'm saying about Trump. He dare like Karen Hoodes, the lawyer, was trying to pinch it off the world, off the world bank, the world bank, the IMF. She tried to steal it and failed because I told them, no, it's not hers. It's none of her business. It's private with us. Okay? You got that, Karen Hoodies? People know that you, you, you're one of those people inside the World Bank that made you do that. So it makes you look like you're owning up to something that doesn't belong to you. You would have got it. You went to Westminster. You went to Westminster, Karen Hoodless, and failed. They're not going to listen to you. They'll listen to us, but not you. They'll listen to this flag and us. The Admiralty that ships 
this court round will comes out of this flag and our jurisdiction of Admiralty Financial Martial Law forces you to give it back. Okay? We distribute it to all the humanity. We distribute not you. You're you're a third party. Any third party to this contract with Queen Victoria Trust is in trouble. Just like the police stepped in my road on Cook Street. That's a third, fourth party, a fourth party, and lost the case in the court with this and this flag and me. The Maori native title, Manukau title on top of it, and King William title on top of it. Right? They're not going to win. They're not going to win. And now I've got chiefs on side, and those whakaminia have suddenly woken to this. It's the way to do it. So all your tomata up in uh, Kai Taya, uh, you you know now. You know what the truth is. In this video I'm saying to you, thank goodness you can see what I'm trying to say for a long, long time on how to fix it is to seize the ship and the courthouse morale. That's all you have to do, seize it, and limit John Key's government to finally getting consent from you in what he does with the resources. You can veto him straight out. Let him run his government because we're going to debt him. They'll be paying for life. Everything from now on. Okay, I've already warned them. That's a trillion pounds on the head. I've got Anex, Anex uh, invoice company that I pay every week to put those bills of a trillion pounds a day on those people, the police who stop them, right? And that goes for the whole 13,000 of them, the 15,000. I've got a figure of 15,000 people get the trillion pounds on each of their heads. That's our law. I'm doing all the figures to add up to what's missing in the gold. We're going to offset the value of gold, gold against the pound note, our pound note, the Moai Bauhaus Bank pound note. Do you get that? I told you, Chiefs, the money is right there. Right? I'll never be short again because I'm always short and I'm using my gold card and there's not much in that lot. Yeah? Gold card there. I've got a bus in the ferry, but that's not much from what they've stolen out of my birth certificate. I've got issues with the birth certificate in the court. I've still got my court case that they didn't give me. Now I'm going to give them a court case in the Waitangi Marae. One shot. Boom. With all the chiefs and then seize Cook Street after that. Okay, you got that? You got that? You better listen. Because the British are very interested in fraudsters. Trump's going to round them all up in America. We're going to round them all up in New Zealand, Pacific Island, Britain, and the world. We're going to build them one shot. And it's up to those countries joining us on my powerhouse limited, limited company. Powerhouse group limited, limited company in Britain. I'm going there to live. Okay? So, although the Tomata said I need security to go to England, I need security to get there, and then I'm living there after that. I'll have the security over there. Because I've got to go there to run the business with Matt Taylor. And my secretary there, um, uh, Jackie, little Gordon, and she's not afraid to stand up in Scotland to the Manukau land titles, just up the road from her in Glasgow, just up the road is Balmoral Castle. So I'm looking for a castle, uh, Dara. I'm looking for a castle or you can build one on the island, that island we missed out on, then we'll go and get another one in Scotland. Okay, or island. So that's my, my story. One more time. Trump is going to the Philippines, the son of the King and Queen of Spain, who is the trustees of our Queen Victoria Trust, and the Queen herself, Queen Elizabeth II is the head trust, trustee of that Queen Victoria Trust, 
the one point on the top of this eight point star to us. Okay, she's the head trust and Prince Andrew is the fourth trustee. He's the crook that got caught and the Queen sacked him as a trustee. With them there's those four, the Queen, Prince Andrew, and the King and the Queen of Spain is still on our contract. Even though he retired, he ran off with all the money that he could take and then gave the rest to his son, the Philippines. His wife, uh, his wife, uh, her, their son in the Philippines and took all our gold and our assets into the Philippines and spread the rest into Switzerland. The bulk is in um, um, Philippines and in New York. That, that, that they got rid of that lot. We'll find that lot. The British will go find that lot. And Russia. Okay? Putin and uh, UKIP, uh, uh, Nigel Farage, and Trump. Trump, I'll hold Trump to it. I'll hold Trump against going in with the US Navy. To, to try and steal that gold in the Philippines, I'll stop it with these chiefs here. These chiefs here, that's their financial interest in that gold. Okay? okay? I'm saying that's why the pound notes kind of go on them. Once it's there, then the British military has to and they next to make the invoice out to the British military to go and seize it. With the Russians going to seize it too. And any allies that join the new British and boot the Queen out because she's stolen everything off the British people and put the Muslims in there to knock everybody out with that, that now they will get booted out, right out of the country. When I get there and put Dennis Augustus, he's the first to go out. He's a racist bastard, right? A racist bastard, bastardizing our law and our contract, right? Anybody that's a third party in this is in trouble. And as far as I'm concerned, the Philippines son of the, and that fellow struck uh, the, that that's looking after the, the gold. He's in trouble too. He he's a third party to us and a, a fourth party. I must say to this contract with Queen Victoria Trust. The first party is us and Queen Victoria right? and King Toto and he's King Edward and King Queen Victoria has a say in that. I'm putting him right there, and us on the King William side, that's kicked that all off, okay? So we have that contract that's been um, tampered with. It's tampered with by the King and Queen of Spain. They're liable. They're liable. With this video, they're liable. I'm saying to Trump, you watch this video, don't get mixed up in it as a fifth partner. Don't get mixed up because that's Bill and Loser, all you got. And the British military have to go and get that too with a pound. If I put a pound note of any on your heads, a pound note on your heads, John Key's got a pound note on his head. All the police got a pound note. If you get a pound note on your head, Trump, the British will go after you. So do not tamper with that gold, the 400 ton, million tons, the 400, the 400 tons of gold in the Philippines and the 400, and, and the 400, the 600 that's missing in Fort Knox. New York and the rest is sitting in Switzerland. We're going to put levy data right over the top of it with that 970 million trillions of pound notes spread out. It's going to spread out to all of you elite people and it's going to cover the whole world. Okay, that belongs to the people of the world under the Moai King William Trust. Okay, when you join the shares in the title energy, water, money, currency, and pound note and gold. That's what it is. This 970 million trillion trillion pound note. Digital. It'll go out on digital and come out soon. Okay, thank you very much. That's what I want to say for now. Because I think it's news time. And what's the time now? Um, oh, it's your story. It's gone past news. I want to watch news. Okay, see ya. Bye for now. Come on, Auto News.